Hello YouTube, Ask the Robot here, here for another Mac OS tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the programming tool Dash Code. Oops. You can find it in the developer file and then applications and then Dash Code, which I just happen to have in my doc. Dash codes are really good Apple software for developing dashboard widgets. It's what I use for most of my programming. Um, it uses Java, and you get all these templates to start off with. So I'm going to be showing you how to make quite a simple widget, which is a countdown widget. So you can make it say countdown to your birthday. So this is what you get to start with and you can change so you to first you'd want to put down what date it is you want to go to so let's just put something random in and then you'd want to go to the front and maybe mess around with the colors and stuff and to do this you can go to inspector and if you select this you can go to well you can click whatever color you want so I, I like the color red but anything would work and then Right, that looks good. You can do the same thing with text. And then to change the text, you just simply double click it. You can also simply drag stuff around and resize things really easily oh, wait. so that, that's how you would resize the actual whole thing but you can also resize little bits and now I'm going to be showing you how to add a button on that would bring to you up a website right and we're going to do this at the back just get rid of that as you see there's also already a button this will take you back to the front of the widget you can go to library which is like a library full of bits of code and buttons and things like that that you can add in and I'm going to search for a button and let's use a glass button if I go to web is the name to get a button to do something which is what most things use obviously it's quite a good thing to use you go to right click on it go to events and then on click then this this screen will come up here and I'm just going to keep it as my click handler, but you could change the name to whatever you'd like. It doesn't make a difference. You click add, and then it brings up the code for that button. And you can go to code here, and you've got loads of good bits of code to use, which just make it a lot quicker. So if I just search a website... Um, there is already a bit of code and you can just drag it into there and then it's really easy you can just go to and change change this so I'll go to ask so once you've like put whatever website you did it works so to compile everything together and see what your widget looks like you simply press run 
and there you go as you can see there's a lot of days until that date happens so the numbers have run into each other but I'm sure your birthday or whatever would be a bit closer and to get onto the back you s you click this little info button and there you are and then if I click web it will bring up my website right um, and in another th thing you could do is just adding images is quite a useful thing so if I just close some of these and then let's find some images if I, I you can just drop and drag things really simple really good I recommend this to anyone who's planning on starting programming um, it you download it in the Xcode package which you can get from Apple it's completely free and I've hoped you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching